you know, when I think about what progress we have made even since last time we were here at Build, we've built really three platforms. The first is Microsoft Copilot, which is your everyday uh, companion. It puts knowledge and expertise at your fingertips, helps you act on it, and we built the Copilot stack so that you can build your AI applications and solutions and experiences. And just yesterday, we introduced a new category of Copilot Plus PCs, the fastest AI-first PCs ever built. And so today, I want to highlight our top news for this event across every layer of this Copilot stack. It all starts, though, with this very deep, deep partnership with NVIDIA, which spans the entirety of the Copilot stack across both all of their hardware innovation as well as their system software innovation. Together, we offer Azure Confidential Computing on GPUs to, design, to be, really help you protect sensitive data around the AI models end to end. Uh, we're bringing, in fact, the latest H200s to Azure later this year. Uh, and we will be among the first cloud providers to offer NVIDIA's Blackwell GPUs B100s as well as GB200 configurations. Coming to AMD, I am really excited to share that we are the first cloud to deliver general availability of VMs based on AMD AMI300X AI Accelerator. It's a big milestone for both AMD and Microsoft. We've been working at it for a while, and it's great to see that today, as we speak, it offers the best price performance on GPT-4 inference. Six months ago is when we announced our first general purpose ARM-based compute processor, Microsoft Cobalt. And today, I am really excited to announce the public preview of Cobalt-based VMs. Look, with Azure AI, we offer the broadest selection of frontier and open source models, including LLMs and SLMs. And it all starts, though, with our most strategic and most important partnership with OpenAI. Just last week, OpenAI announced GPT-40, their latest multimodal model, which was trained on Azure. It's an absolute breakthrough. It has text, audio, image, and video as input and output. It can respond and just have a, a human-like conversation. In the video I'm just going to play, notice that you can share your screen or session as a prompt in Copilot and have Copilot help you in whatever it is that you're doing. Let's roll the video. Hey, Copilot, how's it going? Hey. I'm doing great, and it looks like you're about to dive into some Minecraft. I see you've got a crafting table in front of you, which is a great start. To craft a sword, you'll need some materials. Can you open your inventory? Just press E on your keyboard. Yeah, uh, do I have what I need? Oh my god, what's that? Oh no, it's a zombie! Run! You need to get away from it fast. Either sprint away or quickly build a tower of blocks straight up to get out of its reach. And as OpenAI innovates, our promise is that we will bring all that innovation to Azure too. In fact, the same day that OpenAI announced GPD-40, we made the model available for testing on Azure OpenAI service. And today, it, I'm excited to say that it's generally available on Azure AI. One of the coolest things is that now any app, any website, can essentially be turned into a full multimodal, full duplex conversational canvas. I'm gonna go on an overnight camping hike where we're camping all this. It's gonna be dark, cold. Should I, should I use these shoes? It's the mountains, it's probably gonna be cold. Hey, no worries. Let me take a look. Ah, those are the Trekstar hiking sandals. While they're fantastic for summer hikes and keeping your feet cool, they might not be the best choice for cold mountain. Oh my goodness, mountain. so, okay, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Pick the best thing that I should use and can you just add it to my cart, just one product? No worries. Let's go with the Trek Ready Hawking Boots. They're durable, provide great ankle support, and most importantly, they'll keep your feet warm in the cold mountains. Today I'm very thrilled to announce a new partnership with Khan Academy. Uh, we'll be working together to use Phi 3 to make math tutoring more accessible. And I'm also excited to share that they'll be making Khan Amigo, their AI assistant, free to all US teachers. And I'm excited to announce that Azure AI Studio now is generally available. It's an end-to-end -end development environment to build, train, and fine-tune AI models and do so responsibly. It includes rebuilt-in support 
for what is perhaps the most important feature, which is in this age of AI, which is AI safety. Uh, Azure AI Studio includes the state-of-the-art safety tooling you know, to everything from detecting hallucinations in model outputs, risk and safety monitoring. Uh, it helps understand which inputs and outputs are triggering uh, content filters, uh, prompt shields, by the way, to detect and block these prompt injection attacks. Um, and so today we are adding new capabilities, including custom categories, so that you can create these unique filters for prompts and completions with rapid deployment options, which I think is super important as you deploy these models into the real world. Since no two business processes are the same, with Copilot Studio, you now can extend Copilot to be able to customize it for your business processes and workflows. Today, we are in introducing Copilot connectors in Copilot Studio, so you can ground Copilot with data from across the graph, from Power Platform, Fabric, Dataverse, as well as you now have all the third-party connectors for SaaS applications, from Adobe, Atlassian, ServiceNow, Snowflake, and many, many more. We're also extending Copilot beyond a personal assistant to become a team assistant. I'm thrilled today to announce Team Copilot. You know, you'll be able to invoke a team co-pilot wherever you collaborate in Teams, right? It can be in Teams, it can be in Loop, it can be in Planner, and many, many, many other places. I mean, think about it, right? It can be your meeting facilitator uh, when you're in Teams, creating agendas, tracking time, taking notes for you, or a collaborator writing chats, surfacing the most important information tracking action items, addressing unresolved issues. Uh, and it can even be your project manager, ensuring that every project that you're working on as a team is running smoothly. These capabilities will all come to you all and be available in preview later this year. And we're not stopping there. Uh, with Copilot Studio, anyone can build Copilots that have agent capabilities and work on your behalf and independently and proactively orchestrate tasks for you. you now, simply provide your co-pilot a job description or choose from one of our pre-made templates and equip it with the necessary knowledge and actions and co-pilot will work in the background and act asynchronously uh, for you. Right, that's I think one of the key things that's gonna really change in the next year where you're gonna have co-pilots plus agents with this async behavior. There are many announcements that you will hear about at Build, but I wanna go back to, I think, the core of what I think, why we chose to be in this industry and why we come to work every day as developers, which is the mission ultimately of empowering every person in every organization. At the end of the day, it's not about innovation that is only useful for a few, it's about really being able to empower that everyone and it comes down to you all as developers and builders of this new world. For us, it's never, never about celebrating tech for tech's sake. It's about celebrating what we can do with technology to create magical experiences that make a real difference in our countries, in our companies, in our communities.